Okay, let's get going here. Oh, oh shit. All right, music changed. There's also a snake creature here. I'm not sure if that's gonna be an auto grind or not. It's an auto grind, okay. Because yeah, that guy was uh, running away and. That? Okay, I, I know what I'm doing for the next hour. <laughs> Holy shit, those guys give you that much? Jesus Christ. Alright, let's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Get, let's go. Fucking hell, auto grinding is amazing. Why haven't any other JRPGs done that? Jesus. Look, we're already leveled up. Wow. Oh, baby, indeed. Holy shit. And that costs like what? 20,000 experience points? It's gonna be sweet and epic. Holy shit. We could definitely prepare our next journey after this. Of course, the possibility of getting us, any of us getting sunstroke is pretty high, but um, hopefully none of us tan that easily, right? I hope, uh... Oh, well, one of us already got it. Oops, what one? Carlo, I thought you live in Dalam. Shouldn't you be used to the hot weather up there? Wait, no, wait. Oh, that's... It's probably different from... There's a hint guy again. Um... Does Sunstroke, um, damage them? It does, but it doesn't seem like it damaged them too much. Let's talk to him. I sell a lot of to those who are thirsty. It's expensive, though. Oh, fuck you, then. Well, you die by dehydration. I'm warning you. We're not gonna be dehydrated. We'll get to a hospital sooner than anything. Beautiful loot UFO. Okay, um... Let's start attacking. Just bashing the fuck out of it. These are little enemies anyways, so... Maybe they'll... Okay. Only 103. Of course, he gets weaker the more you attack, so I gotta be very careful. Yeah! You're not that tough, dude. Alright, friends gain... Not even that much anyways. And can of fruit juice? I'm not even sure if that's even worth it or not. Yeah, where's that other snake guy? I want him. Uh, oh shit. Oh shit, hello! We just met you like last segment ago, but alright, where are you say going? On top of the palm tree? <laughs> Picture is taking instantaneously good fucking god it's hot in here! Oh, I really need to learn how to shave more often or something. Anyways, I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, it's ready for an instant memoir. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, and then he immediately dies afterwards. <laughs> Selfie time. All right, there's a scorpion there. I'm pretty sure he's an enemy. Let's fight after it. Let's go. Bring it. Also, oh, did the door open? Because I'm fighting him? A dreaded scorpion. All right. Get over here! <laughs> Poison snake. Oh god, he has poison as well. <laughs> ha! You take that. Take that, yeah. Try attacking a fucking bear with your poison stink. Oh, it doesn't even give us that much experience points. Alright, what is this? A door to the pyramid is firmly sealed. And what is this thing? Alright, I guess this is where one of our glyphs show up. Uh, is it this one? Such a skin. Okay, so it's alpha. Gotta gotta remember that. I gotta remember what alpha, beta, and omega does in order to yeah. Otherwise, I'm just gonna constantly just guess. Oh, is it this one and get it wrong all the time? Uh, who has the uh glyphs again? Hero glyphs. All right, Cora, you have it. Use Cora read the hero glyphs to fight against the invaders. We built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramids were protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their strong, evil stronghold. A place that a dark... Okay, so yeah. I'm guessing that's our hint as to where we're supposed to go in order to kill uh, Gigas. Gigas. The... So, th that episode with the stir where I had to pronounce Gigas correctly, apparently now there's a third pronunciation by the name of Gigas. What the fuck, guys? Or Gigas, sorry, not Gigas. I don't think I don't think anyone has pronounced it with a J, but that could be another pronunciation as well. So now it's either Gigas, Gigas, or Gigas, apparently. What the fuck? Ugh, I'm whatever, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna call him Gigas, because that's why I originally named him anyway, so whatever. A deep darkness is shrouded. It is evil light. It was because everyone in the comment section, from what I've seen so far, has multiple interpretation of how the fuck you pronounce that guy's name. So whatever, I'm just gonna pronounce whatever the fuck I pronounce. I don't even care if it's right or wrong. I'm just gonna do whatever. Okay, just fuck that topic together. And yeah, all right. Anyways, the darkness, uh, the deep darkness is shrouded. It is without light. 
Only one with the Hawkeye can pierce through the dark, alright? So we need a Hawkeye item in order to pierce through the darkness. The Sphinx now watches over everything, waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. Alright, so I, I'm guessing waiting for where that... So there's... Yeah, there's two, three, four, five. So I'm guessing that's in order. So we're supposed to go to the bottom left first, then to the right, then to the left, and... Okay, so it's kind of like a star, actually, now that I think about it. Dance in front of the Sphinx, alright. Are you a thief, a warrior, or one who has come to see my majesty? You know, must decide what you must decide what you really are. Therefore, what will you do? So, yeah, it looks it's basically in the shape of a star. Oh shit! There's a UFO. Better not attack us. Is that it? Warriors, enter now. Search for the Hawkeye. Thank you, sir. Awesome. This could be also be another potential of your sanctuary area. There's a mummy there. Fear shattered mummy, and it looks pretty bloodied up too. Gotta be careful with this guy. He still has organs in him. Missed, fuck. <laughs> that's gotta, that's gotta be um a little bit disgusting to punch a fucking li lively mummy with still its guts hanging out. Also, Carlos, what the f fuck? All right, everyone, keep dashing. Come on, hell! There we go. Good. Covered 98. God damn it, Carlos. Seriously? <laughs> Whip it good. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. It's used as a whip dart. Fuck it. I'm not gonna. I guess I could paralyze the enemies or stun them or something. No problem here. This looks like a maze, so I should be really careful here. Actually, we gotta be really careful here. Can't, it seems like we can't strafe anywhere, so we're forced to fight this mummy regardless. It's fine, we've killed one of you guys. I think we could kill another one. Especially now that all we do is just basically bash and shoot. We'll save our PP points for later on. Also, Cora, you gotta stop missing your fucking attack. What the hell is going on? On the plushy bear. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Plushy bear. Not a problem. Smash! Alright, awesome. We won. Not as much as the fucking snake guy from the beginning, though. God damn it. I want to see more of those guys instead. Oh shit, is the Hierogryph going to fight us? I have a feeling it will! Yeah, of course. Guardian Hierogryph came to after you. <laughs> uh, this is so surreal. Alright, let's try to keep on bashing him, see what up. We can see his weakness too, in case. Oh, nice job, Carlos! Do more of that, please. Nice, alright, awesome. I mean, we're, I guess we're gaining experience points all along the way, but... Based on the caskets! Ta-da! There's a viper inside! Cora takes it. What the fuck's a viper? And what does it do? When used during battle, it bites the enemy and disappears. It always poisons the enemy. Always! Okay, so we could use that to... I guess boss battles then. Alright, I like that. Is this like the stairway to hell or something? We just keep on constantly going up and up and up. Are those hieroglyphs gonna... Yep, I figured. Those guys gonna fuck us up. Or at least one of them. I like this music. It feels like I could easily beat them with these musics uh, alongside. Or at least I'm close to, like... Super Fleshy Bear. Like I'm close to at least beating them in one go. I feel like the happy music compared to all the other, like, psychedelic music will definitely um, feel us more um, confidence. Build us more confidence to beat the enemies. There's that glyph. Okay. Yeah, compared to this cycle, compared to the other few previous battles, I feel like this one we might not have much. We might have a little bit more trouble compared to the previous battle, and I just contradict myself because we didn't get, even get damage. But yeah, you get the point because of the music, the way the music is played. I really do like the music here. I'm surprised that there's not much of it, especially in Smash Bros. Considering how Smash Bros. is usually really um, known for like its collection of music library. Even with like non-known, like like very unknown or obscure Nintendo games, but there's not really a whole lot of Met like I was gonna say Metroid. Uh, uh, there's not a whole lot of Earthbound representation when it comes to music, is there? I mean, there's some, but there's not a whole lot. Honestly, like on the top of my head, I can only name like 
the on net theme and smiles and tears and even then like the on net theme is not even like the on net theme it's just another recreation of smiles and tears I guess there's also Foresight, and it does definitely sound similar to Foresight, but I guess it's own remix. I like that. Um, I, I guess I can't say much for it because I haven't played Mother 3 yet, which people have been really requesting me to do Mother 3 a lot, but... Again, I really don't know whether or not I should really do it or not. I mean, I guess if there's really that much of a demand for me to play Mother 3, I will, but... I really want to wait until like there's like an actual copy of Mother 3, like on the eShop or something. Or... Something like that, maybe like a remake for Mother 3. One thing for damn sure though, um, isn't there like a Mother 4 fan made game for PC? I'm definitely doing that. See what's up. Um, I'm not sure whether or not I'm gonna do um, Earthbound Beginnings though, because I heard a lot of people talk negatively about that game apparently. How it requires a whole lot of grinding in order to build up, in order to really play the game. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy Earthbound Beginnings. If you guys want me to do Earthbound Beginnings, I'll probably do it. But if not, then I guess I'll play either Mother 4 or Mother 3. I say I'll definitely... I won't, I won't immediately jump into Mother 3 immediately once I'm done with Earthbound. I'm going to wait until it simmers down. Because if I play like, the same game over and over and over again, um, especially immediately after I'm finished with one another game, I feel like I'm going to get burnt out from the series. So, I shouldn't... I should really, like... That's the reason why I'm not doing Birth by Sleep immediately. I'm waiting until, like, maybe, I guess... February or March for me to um, play Birth by Sleep because if I play Birth by Sleep immediately after Kingdom Hearts 2 then I'm just gonna get really tired of the series. I'm gonna get to a long hiatus break and you know what happens with the Neo Let's Play. So yeah, I don't want- oh my god is the cast getting attack me too? Well, whatever, it's a good thing we got a surprise attack on them. Jesus fuck it's a royal guard. Um, I like this music too, it seems like we have no choice or no chance of fighting against this guy. Um, let's keep bashing him, I guess. Oh, I could. No, no, let's fire on him. And then everyone else bashes on him. We got one extra turn, anyways. Carlo missed. Alright. 1 6. Paralysis. Present behind the enemy. Sudden Guts Pill. Okay. Alright, so. Weak to paralysis. Let's do that. Well, everyone else, I guess, bashes him. Don't miss this time, guys. Alright. Good. Oh, nice, Carlos! You, I'm noticing Carlos has, like, the most amount of smashes and the most amount of critical attacks compared to everyone else. That's a good sign, but at the same time, I don't like how he kind of requires luck in order to, in or, in order to like, defeat the opponents. I really want to try my best and defeat these enemies with skill. Also, it seems like there's two more doorways I could go through. Oh, shit! Gotta be careful. These guys are on the way. There's a mummy in the middle ground, but I'm not sure if that's... Might be a mini-boss of some sorts, I don't know. Oh shit, it's using thunder. Oh god damn it, Carlo! Alright. Attack, 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 hurry, 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 guys! Carlo miss, Marvin... Uh, don't die on me now, yes! Ooh, thank god, okay, that's such a close one, too. Flash didn't work on anyone. Oh, never mind, it felt strange for everyone. Everyone else is crying, god damn it. Of all times, why now? Hopefully it wears out after this battle. Does it wear out of this battle? I think it does. Oh shit, Carlo, you have a bunch of HP. I say that's the more so than Korra. I don't know why Korra still has like the lowest amount of HP out of everyone. Oh whatever, that's fine. Okay, um Yeah, let's attack this last guy before we um deal with the mummy inside. Not like that, but we also have to, like, really, um... <sighs> Next year we're prepared as well. Alright. Hacking cough. Didn't work on <laughs> fucking plushy bear, thank god. Thank god those idiots decided to attack the bear instead of us. Yeah, the bears are definitely, um... A smart choice for me to bring all along over. If only that safe against the Kraken. Oh, well. Did I level up? 49. I feel like I leveled up, uh... Or is it Korra? Yeah, because I know I'm a very high level, I just don't know specifically the level I am. Um, nothing here. Can't check it or anything. Uh, let's see what's over this door. More glyphs, okay. I had to make a mental note to know there's another door around us as well. The snake doesn't seem like it's too bad, hopefully. Alright, good. We're, we're getting good results here, guys. This is a good result! 
wish I really wish there was a way for us to um acknowledge how we could get a sneak attack on them. Maybe we just have to go behind the hero groups and where they're facing. Really freaking confusing, of course. Not a cold. That's fine. It's just a cold. You'll be fine. Plus, I can always heal you. Death by sneezing. That's gonna be a resume to put on your uh, funeral. I leveled up now, so I'm like 50 something. Jesus fuck, do I have like. What are the uh, stats requirements? I know like. With each Pokemon individually, they have like base stats and special base stats or something like that. I'm guessing the same thing applies with um, Earthbound. Because like. I'm noticing like. Paula definitely has the lowest amount of HP when leveling up compared to Jeff and Carl. I, I, and Ness as well, definitely. Ness might have the highest amount of HP stats out of everyone else. Also, oh fuck, I got two enemies here, alright. Let's just end this real quickly then. I'm not sure if there's an item for me to recover my peep. It's gonna be bad if there's not. Um, row of foes, shit. Is there one for all enemies? Let's freeze the guardian hieroglyph then. Oh, no, no, let's, uh... No, no, let's just do that, actually. I feel like the guardian hieroglyphs will... Do us more harm if anything. While everyone else will attack the mummy. 60. I have a. Alright, freeze. How much power does that do? 82. That doesn't seem that much. That's what just bash instead, I think. Can't work on that guy. Shit, alright. And they're both still alive. Alright, plush bear. That's fine. That's alright. Good, okay. I feel like this guy might be the most powerful, so let's deal with him first. If he's done, then we could focus our attention on the hero. Yeah! I like our results! Fuck yeah! Alright. Everything's good to go. Everything seems to be a-okay. Is this a enemy or is this another casket? Okay. Ta-da! There's a bag of dragon knight inside. What the fuck does the bag of dragon knight do? Does it send me a dragon or something? Is there a pokeball inside it? If you sprinkle the powder on your, on your friends during battle, Friends turn into a dragon and attacks all enemies. Okay, and we got two of them now. All right, let's give that to um Marvin because he's the idea. Oh fuck, he doesn't have enough. All right, um yeah, I think um Marvin and Carlo will definitely be the idea item people because I mean Cora has definitely the, a good amount of PP. Carlo has some PP, but it doesn't seem like he has that much. Um, you know, let's give the defense pill. Where are you, Cora? Uh, I still need to use the broken iron and broken bazooka. Everyone has a herb. That's good. Um, yeah, and might as well give the mummy wrap viper and baggage and like Marvin as well, and or Coral, uh, Carlo, not Cora. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, Marvin will keep the baggage dragon knight. And I guess Carlo will have the whip. And in tune with his nature, let's have him have the Viper as well. Alright, that's good. So this door just leads to an item, that's why- Oh, hey, hello. Hey, hello! Amazing results here. Alright, there's a- Alright, we know that guy's uh, prone to paralysis, so let's do that. Actually, no, let's use it to all of them. Maybe it might work on the snake as well, but who knows. We'll not have to worry about them for now. Let's worry about the snake. Core attacks. Yeah, Korra's attacking. I mean, unless the enemy's weak to ice, then I don't think I'm going to be using that much. Using uh, Ice Alpha. Oh yeah, both of them became numb. That's good. Alright. That's awesome. I just have to deal with the golem himself, and we should be fine. Yeah, especially if that happens! Numb can't move? Yes, keep doing that. I'm loving this results. I'm loving a. Oh my god, two crits in a row? Jesus fuck, base, you're on fire! God damn! I wish you could do that more often. Marvin leveled up. Alright, we're getting some good results here with leveling up. I am keep saying. I feel like I have Xenoblade Chronicles in my mind or something. I really need to continue playing that game. I'm, I'm still at like the four hour mark and I'm really enjoying it, especially with the story. Um. I don't think, yeah, I could just ignore you guys. I guess I could upgrade myself. Yeah, here. I'll just level up from these guys instead, actually. So we're here to get the Hawkeye. 
wherever the fuck that thing is. Carl keeps missing. I gotta give like, him like an item that increases his accuracy. Thunder. Ouch. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, I keep forgetting. Cora and Carl could also. Wait, no. Can Cora heal? I don't remember if Cora could heal. I think she can only do like offensive magical magical powers. And it's just me and Carlo could heal. Pharaoh's curse. What the fuck is that? That could either be very good or very very troublesome. An ectoplasmic ooze is disgorged out of the dreadful box, and the enemy may be poisoned. Okay, so let's give that to uh, Carlo or Marvin. All right. And this guy, have, we didn't go behind him. Alright, let's just keep bashing him until he dies. Everyone seemed to do a, about, about 100 damage except for Carlo. I, on the other hand, missed, so I can't really can't tell how much I did. But yeah, 100 damage. Especially if Carlo keeps smashing. Yeah, because Cora and Marvin, I'm not seeing them smash that often uh, com uh, compared to Carlo and me. Then again, I have to say though. Um, out of out of uh, me and versus Carlo in terms of the critical hit stats, I think Carlo might have it because he, I'm seeing more crits from uh, him compared to Ness. <laughs> Talk to the fucking casket. Ta-da! There's a speed capsule inside. Is that permanent or is that just? I keep forgetting because there's defense spray. I'm guessing anything that has a spray means it's not uh, permanent. Increase your speed when taken. Oh, I know. Maybe it's like overworld speed or something. So, like, we'll go faster or something. All right, well, I don't need that then. I think I'm fine with the speed right now. It sucks that we have to use a speed capsule in order to, like, get so that we all, uh, oh, fuck. It's all 40 damage. All right, let's do that. Let's just, no, 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 no. I'm going to save and conserve. Or everyone else. Mummy, I think, is the most dangerous next to the fox. Uh, both of them are equally as dangerous, I think. Especially with the mummies, uh... Well, then again, the mummy, uh, the hieroglyph might actually just continuously attack the, uh, uh, bear instead. Alright. I should not use that more often, actually. I think, I think bashing the fuck out of them might real us good results. Better results. I gotta stop saying good results, holy shit. I just, I think I just have Xenoblade Chronicles on my mind. I really need to play that game more often, holy shit. That game is already on my honorable mentions list for my best list. So yeah, uh, Power of Thunder, why? Although Thunder seems to be pretty damn useless, unless the specific enemies are weak to it. But then again, like, it only attacks, like, a random amount of enemies, like, you can't choose your enemies. That's a bad- Couple Life Nudas inside, alright, so we have one way to, um, heal, heal ourselves just in case one of us dies. Alright. It's a long way in order for us to get the freaking Hawkeye. No, we could always get the, uh... Oh, fuck yeah! Um, I'm... I think there might be, a, a Your Sanctuary area here, and we'll be really much close to finishing the game. At least I hope we do. How far are we in here? It's quite a long ways. I'll tell you guys this right now, the rules I'm saying for, um... My yearly best and worst list, for, mostly for my best list, I'm making it so that I have to beat the game in order for me to include it on the best list. If not, then it's most likely going to be on my honorable lunch. So that's why I really want to finish Earthbound because I definitely really love the game. I don't think I have enough time to finish games like Metal Gear Solid 5, so I might have to include that on the next year's best list. Oh shit, that's an enemy! Oh fuck, alright, um, let's hope that you're, uh, He's prone to paralysis as well. And well, I'll smash while you spy on me, on him, just in case. Uh, spies in general, alright. A lot of defense, no weakness though, of course, so it might not work on this paralysis. Body came numb, alright, good, it works. Not like that, but I also uh, poisoned him as well. One, fuck, alright. Let's freeze him, see how much it does. Oh, not that, mind it. Although we might need that um, later on. Um, Secret herb, Pharaoh's curse. Let's try the Pharaoh's Curse on him. It's very numb, so might as well. Give him poison on top of being numb. Yes, that's something I know- <laughs> And he's solidified as well, so he's numb, solidified, and soon to be poisoned. At least I think that's what it does. 
Suddenly, something unknown burst into the box. Didn't work on. Oh fuck! All right. So I guess Carlo using his uh, venom will probably be the most beneficial cause as well. Also, Marvin, you're almost dying. I'm sorry for that. Here, here you go, buddy. Just pat him on the back. Everything's gonna be fine, just like butters. Does a uh, I know South Park has inspiration from Earthbound. Is that correct, or am I? Uh, did I get my uh, fact or wrong? <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't. Mirror. I I don't know about the mirror aspect. Whatever. This shit, it always poisons him, right? From the item's description. Solidified. Good. It didn't work. Really? Fuck off. Just wasted my two items. Alright, good. I don't think anyone else needs a healing, so... Everything's good at A-okay. Cora, you keep freezing to death. At least until you get more PP. Good. I don't have, like, a bottle rocket or anything. I guess he's stuck with shooting now. Okay, this is gonna solidify him again. It keeps damaging him, that's good. Yeah, that was easy. Awesome teamwork, guys. Gains that much. That's not even as close to the fucking freebie we got from the other guys. Come on. Alright, at least everyone levels up, so that's good. PP and all that good shit. Alright, is this where we get the Hawkeye? I don't think this is the part where we get the Your Sanctuary area. That seems like a trapdoor. For what I'm seeing, I don't like that. Alright, um... Snake, I don't think is much of a problem, so we'll focus our attention on that guy instead. Even though his body seems to be very powerful. Oh, well, never mind. I spoke too soon. He is actually pretty damaging. Didn't work on the fucking plushie. Yeah, good. Oh, now we're fighting against the... Uh, whatever. He's down, so he shouldn't be a problem. Oh, oops. I pressed the R button by accident. I fought your bigger brother, petrified royal guard. You're not much of a problem with us. Go back to the writing board. Alright, speaking of leveling up, why not? Why the fuck not? Uh, what's a recommendation level for, um... Once we fight the final boss, by the way. If it's 99, then good god do we have a long road ahead of us. But if it's something like maybe 60 or 70, the, I, I don't mind too much. Thank god these guys are fighting against the goddamn plushy bear instead. Otherwise it would be very awkward. Alright. Before we uh, enable the trapdoor, let's get the item wherever the fuck it is. Base open the casket. Ta-da! Rain pen inside. I'm guessing that immune... That makes it immune to water attacks or something. Must be equipped to your body. It protects you from freeze attacks. Okay, so we got one that protects uh, fire attacks, and we have one that protects from uh, freezing attacks. Carlo, do you have anything? Is it body? Yeah, body. Okay. Let's get that to Carlo then. Um. Oops. Oh, not more. Fuck, not not Marvin. Shit. There we go. Equip. Oh, no. nope. Body. Oh, Jesus, fuck, that decre- Wait, hold on, wait a minute. That decreases his defense? Oh, shit, that can't be good, then. Oh, sorry, Carlo, I think I'm gonna have to give it to someone else, then, because... Is that why... All our other shit that we gathered, because, like, if he carries some things, he's actually gonna decrease. Oh, that's actually a very interesting stats, actually, now that I think about it. He needs to equip specific items in order to increase his stats, but if he equips the wrong items, then... That's actually really smart on the, the game developer's guy, by the way. I had to commend him for that, actually. That's really, um, interesting game design. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the Great Charm. It's gonna increase the, her defense anyway, so might as well. Alright, let's see if uh, the Great Charm will actually work with him. If not, then I guess we'll just throw it away or something. Diamond Band, where's the Great Charm? There you are. Still not done yet. Yeah, it seems like it decreases uh, his defensive capabilities. Not only that, but he needs like specific weapons or something, and I guess we haven't countered that yet. Maybe he just uses his fist or something, and that is, that's his specific weapon. Yeah, because the King of Bracers is the only one that increases defense so far, so it's definitely best to um, equip that. 
So specific items for uh, Carlo, and that should be good. All right, <laughs> it looks like we're teleporting. All right, what the fuck is this thing? Someone must have stepped on a switch. It sounds like something above is moving. I'm guessing there's a new pathway now. Yeah, there was a second pathway we went, but that all, all that did was um enable uh, another casket. All right, we're not done with this place just yet. Feels like there's gonna be another mini boss around us. That'll be me. There's gonna be another your sanctuary. Whatever the case is, we need to definitely find this Hawkeye immediately. God damn it! So bloody mummy and hero glove. Right. Right. Okay. Bloody mummy. You die first. This is. Why are you guys missing? Jesus. Super plushy bear. Sorry. That's like what our third one. Yeah, we have one more left, so we gotta be really careful. I think that's how we're surviving so far, is the fact that we're actually um, using the super fluffy bear in order to... Um, is it gonna... Flocking only does crying so far from what I'm seeing, and it seems to be... It seems like I'm immune to it, apparently. That's good. It sucks that I'm like the only one with the Franklin badge, because... Lightning can be very unpredictable, and if it attacks me, then it attacks the enemy, so that's very good. But if it attacks everyone else, then they get damaged. So I want to see if there's a way for everyone to equip the, uh, yeah, like, that happens. Right, see, now, now, I was, I got really lucky there, but it hit Marvin that time, so that sucks. So if every one of my, uh, party members has a Franklin Badge, if only there was, like, an item that sells Franklin Badge, but I think that's, like, a quest item only thing or something, right? Uh, oh well. It seems like there's only one pathway so far. Alright. Oh, so that might be it, actually. It's not the, uh, upwards area, it's the mummy moving. Alright, um, I feel like this spider thing, the arachnid exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation points, will probably poison us, so... We should probably kill him first. Yeah, we just wasted our viper on other things. Right. Smash! Oh, now you fucking smash, huh, Korra? Alright, good. Better late than never, I guess. Franklin Patch! Damn it. Maybe this will kill him before, um, his life depletes. Whew. Awesome. God damn it, why am I pressing the R button? My fingers keeps on slipping. Sorry guys. How much level is everyone else actually? Now that I think about it. Let me see. What is everyone's level? 57, 50, 51, 40. And when I say level 60, I'm talking about everyone, not just me. Because if I'm the only one that's level 50 then, or 60 then, I'm pretty much fucked. Is this the Hawkeye? There's something on the platform. You want to get it? Why not? <laughs> Cora got the Hawkeye. Fuck yeah. Alright, and there's this guy. Let's beat him up. Now we have to get the fuck out of here somehow. The Hawkeye's the only thing that could pierce through the darkness. Alright, we got the Hawkeye, but I have no idea what the fuck we're supposed to do now. Also, good job. Good job, guys. Whew, we're getting better and better. Fucking amazing. I don't think there's a Your Sanctuary area. At least I hope there is. If not, then... Pretty sure we have to go somewhere else and redo it. These guys are just more or less a pushover now. They're doing nothing but just fucking us and delaying the inevitable of their doom. Whew. Left a present. What a present is that? A Pharaoh's curse. All right, might as well. It didn't really do much to us. I guess it only counters for um, mini enemies. If it does for for um, actual baddies, it's not gonna work. I'm not sure. Make things a lot more faster. Just bashing them, smashing them. Why not? All right, awesome. Yeah, I, I'm noticing the experience points. At least for the snakes, are not that very well. Oh shit! There's another hole there. All right. This could be our. This could be our uh, healing zone if the magic butterfly keeps on going, but then again, at the same time, there's also going to be an enemy there. Alright, gotta be... Alright, let's see here. You guys just go... I always just go back and forth from this area in order to deal with that guy. Also, thank you, Franklin Bash, for attacking me. Or for um, light, the lightning attacking me. Of course, leveling up. So, holy shit, we're leveling up quite often now, I'm noticing. Uh, shield B? PSI Shield B. I'm guessing that's uh, more of a physical shield, not psychic shield. Alright, what's in here? Ta-da! There's a diamond band inside. Marvin takes it. Don't we have a bunch of diamond bands for everyone already, though? Also, is everyone full yet? Let me 
it's like everyone except for Carlo. All right, what's our stats so far? I'm in full health, but my psychic points are low. Her psychic points are low, but she's also at full health. Marvin's not done healing yet. And yeah, Carlo, you gotta heal, actually. I'm gonna make it so that everyone said. FFA, Carlo recover. All right, awesome. It's not full though, is it? All right, beta instead. Alright, exit and enter again. Let's make sure we are perfectly safe. Awesome. I really like this exploit. Not only that, but it's a good smart way to um heal before the inevitable battle that's gonna come below us. So yeah, it's a good thing that we have this butterfly roaming around. Um everyone's not good at PP just yet. Really? Just one HP come on, what the fuck? Oh, wait, no, we're not at the PSI just yet. There we go. Alright, now all we have to do is just make sure everyone's at full PP. That's it. There might be some enemies that spawn back. Oh boy. Very bad if um, we fell into the hole while the catching the butterfly. That would be very bad. Alright, how much more PP do we need to uh, expand upon? You're full. Just need 62. Alright, so I think I'm the only one that, if I recognize myself, then I should be able to um, understand when to stop. Unless there's a limit to? No, there's definitely no limit. Okay. So, how much does it heal specifically for every PP encounter? I'm guessing um, one or two more would do in order to, for us to fully heal. Definitely does get annoying when um the butterfly's not there. Oh fuck. Don't okay, good. Is that it? Should be 62, right? 162. 155. I'm not gonna take that risk, I'll take one more. Hey guys, after this, we're gonna go forth downward to the pyramid. So stay tuned until that and where the oh shit, I just there's a pier there's a butterfly, but I missed it. Alright, stay tuned for the next part of Earthbound.